Hi, this is Blake Levine, and today I want to do a talk about how patience is one of the hardest things to learn. And I share that earlier in my life, I was so focused on everything happening exactly when I wanted it. And as a young person, it became natural to say, hey, I want food right now, or I want to see my friends today, or I'm exactly wanting what I want in this moment. And I'm now 38, and it's taken a long time to realize that some things you have to be really patient for. And I ask myself often, what does it mean to be patient and waiting on a good time? So sometimes we are trying to reach career goals and we say, hey, this is what I want today. And the real facts of life are that it is often needed to see success within a time frame. But when it changes and you're having to wait longer, you have a decision to make. Do you give up, throw in the towel, or keep pressing forward? And what I've learned for myself is, do I have to really want the goal or is it just something that I thought would make me happy and earlier in my life I uh, tried to be successful on television and things like that I thought that that fame or accomplishment would bring joy and light into my life and as I've gotten older I realized that my main goal is to be in the moment and to figure out what my purpose is being here as a human being and for me it's to educate and share the lessons that I've learned to try to handle difficult situations with joy and peace and to be able to inspire someone else that maybe needs something that I have to offer and the patience that I face today is figuring out what can I do while also not feeling upset. And when I say that, I mean I have a business I've been working on for many years and it's been slowly and steadily moving along. And I always wish that things would happen better and quicker. But I've learned that even trying to do a business is a success. Even having the courage to launch a website or make an educational video or to do a talk at an organization, these are things that um, not everyone has the courage to try. I'll leave you with this. I've always done creative projects when I was younger. I did some hosting of television shows and even some improv and some acting. I met many people that had a gift to play music or to uh, write or to um, act, and they were scared to go in public and show off what they um, were able to do. And I understand that feeling, but for me it was always, you know what, let me put out there what I have and see if it can resonate with anyone. So I've been patient for many years working on books. I have done a number of them and I hope in the future I can do more, but it's been a process of learning to be patient when they've been um, signed by publishers. I've had to realize that it doesn't happen overnight. And I say this to you, set the goals that you want. Remember that only God decides what happens and if you are able to keep going and press on, I hope it works out great for you. I want to share I do a one-on-one -on -one coaching program and you can learn about my work on my website bipolaronline.com. And if you type my name, Blake Levine, on, you, on uh, Amazon or Barnes & Noble, you can find many of my books. Thank you so much for watching this, and I pray for you today that your goals in life gets better.